What's up guys, Clowns Boys, how are you guys doing? I am back with another CD review, and today we're having a look at a game that I really liked when I brought it, which is L.A. Noir. I hope I pronounced that right, I don't know how to, how to pronounce the Noir, the Noir, whatever it's called. But anyway, um, I actually bought this game about a month ago, two months ago, and this is actually the complete edition. Uh, this is not the standard edition of the game. This is the complete edition with all the DLCs and all the badges and all the stuff that came out with this game. Um, I have it inside this uh, edition right here. Um, <clears throat> on the front here, it says, of course, Peg 18. Uh, Rockstar uh, logo down there as well. And um, uh, L.A. Noir is written in, like, neon, golden neon uh, kind of color, which is cool. Um... You can see there, uh, the guy whom you play with is called Phelps, a uh, dead woman, a dead guy, three cops in the background there, with a police car or whatever this is. Yep, this is a police car. And a uh, very nice detail on the front, as you can see. Alright, uh, on the side, again, you have to you have the Illinois um, logo there. Um... And there's a little read-up here. I'm going to read it for you guys. Um, a dark and violent crime thriller, which is the game, uh, set against the backdrop of 1940s Los Angeles and utilizing revolutionary new facial animation technology. Eleanor blends the breathtaking action of chases and shootouts with true detective work, including interrogations, clue-finding, as newly minted Officer Cole Phelps embarks on a desperate search for truth in a city where everyone has something to hide. Um, of course, as you can see down there, includes access to all L.A. Noir add-on content, which is the five additional cases ranging from traffic to arson, um, the Beige Pursuit Challenge, Badge, Mage, the Badge Pursuit Challenge, the uh, Broderick Detective Suit, the Sharpshooter Detective Suit, and the Chicago Piano, which is a gun Stored in the trunk of your car. <laughs> oh my god. I always love going to the trunk of my car and getting it out and like, ah, I'm gonna freaking murder you all. Always funny. And uh, of course, the Telegraph, which is a newspaper, um, says that an ambitious that this game is an ambitious drama of exceptional impact. You could also visit www.rockstargames.com slash Eleanor. Uh, this game is developed by Havoc, Team Bundy, and, uh, of course, Rockstar uh, as well. And now, just an update about Team Bundy here. Um, they are actually going to release a game uh, for um, new consoles, like the PlayStation 4, the Xbox 720, uh, when they come out. Uh, and we, um, you can actually check out some of these screenshots. I don't know where exactly, but... Uh, I'm going to see until you guys later, but you can actually check out some of the screenshots for the game if you just visit www.teambondy.com, I think is their, um, I think it's their, um, website, www.teambondy.com. Just visit there and see, or just check out other channels, um, w related to this topic. Now, this game is one player. It takes about 1.31 megabyte of, uh, uh, mega no, actually, it takes about 1,315 megabyte, which is about one gigabyte from your uh, hard drive disk. It has the DualShock 3 vibration function. It also supports 720p, and it has network features as well. Um, that's the front of the package, um, or that's the package, uh, all. So let's open this up, see what's inside. Oh, yeah. Um, as you can see, the disc is very nicely detailed, and uh, if you know me, I like the disc to be different from the front of the tray. It's not really that different, but at least they um, like made these two pictures go away and actually placed uh, the, the, the blue smoke and the red smoke there. So that's a very nice addition. Uh, on the other side, you got the uh, manual. Now I'm just going to give you a quick look up on the manual, because it's a customary in here. Take that pamphlet as well. Alright, so this is the manual. It has a very nice badge. 
uh, it has Rockstar Games on it. I think you can see it really well. There it is. Uh, the back has Rockstar in golden color. Now the inside, you just get some screenshots from the game, uh, telling you what to do in the game and stuff. I'm just gonna give you a little quick look on the screenshots here. Um, there are some of the characters and the missions. So uh, yeah, very nice manual. I really like the look of it. Uh, it comes with this pamphlet right here. Now, this is not a redeem code pamphlet or anything. It's just telling you the the, the games that are uh, released uh, from uh, Rockstar. Um, so when I brought this game uh, about one month ago, I found this with it, and it says Red Dead Redemption Game of the Year uh, Edition is out now. So by the time that this game was released, and I think this game this the complete edition was released about 2011, if I'm correct. Uh, also, the Game of the Year edition came as well in 2011. And then they are telling you about Max Payne, which came out in March 2012, as we all know, Max Payne 3. Which is which was, it's, it's an amazing game. Uh, I did watch reviews on it and stuff, but I did not actually get my hands on it. Uh, even this game, Red Dead Redemption, is very nice, but still I did not get my hands on it. And really, I, I don't care about these two games. Um... Uh, what I think Rockstar should do is to step up their game a little bit because really, I mean, you could notice that the past few years they're not they're not pushing their level a little bit. Uh, maybe in GTA 5, which is going to come out in 2013, it's going to be better than all the uh, Rockstar games that we're seeing right now. So uh, yeah, hope it is. And stay tuned, guys, because I have another Silent Hill coming up. Silent Hill. Uh, um, review or sorry, uh, let's play, and uh, I'm also gonna ha I'm gonna also review the Assassin's Creed Three um, uh, game, which is gonna come out at thirty uh, this month at thirtieth October, and I'm gonna get my hands on it, review it for you guys, and I'm also gonna get the Black Ops Two Hardened Edition, which is gonna come out at the thirteenth of November. And when it comes out, I'm going to review it to you guys, and actually, uh, I'm going to try to do a walkthrough for both of these games, or maybe a let's play, but probably it's going to be a walkthrough, because when I play Assassin's Creed 3 or even Call of Duty, I I can't stop. I just play for hours and hours and hours, so maybe it's going to be a walkthrough and a let's play. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you guys then. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Bye-bye.